Hey guys, Daily Tech here with a super quick follow up video to my previous guide on how to do $20 head tracking. Since I put out that video, which you can find the card right about here, a couple things have changed. Most importantly, you no longer need the PS Move controller to do the pose calibration. Yes, that means this is a PS Move service without actual PS Moves. Now I'm not going to go over all of the steps again because everything's the exact same thing except for that one part. That being said, let's skip ahead to that point where we're doing the pose calibration with that custom headset marker. You'll see here that I've already set up the virtual HMD and I've selected the color yellow. So just make sure the HMD is being found. Also, you'll see in the controller section that I don't have any PS Move controllers connected at all. You can either have them connected or not, it really doesn't make any difference. Now looking at the tracker settings window, you'll want to click on compute tracker poses using HMD. As you normally would, have your flat surface in the middle of the room and have the calibration mat sitting on top facing forwards. Place the head tracker on the mat with it turned on. As usual, make sure it's within view of all cameras. You can cycle through all the cameras to make sure it's visible and that you can see the blue box tracking it. Then just click on looks good. Now make sure you have the marker on spot 1. The pose compute won't happen automatically, so you'll need to click on trust me, it's stable. Now you can just wait for it to finish taking its samples. Then move the marker to spot 2, then click on trust me, it's stable again. And then just repeat this process through point 5. This just about wraps it up for the head tracking. You can now test it in the config tool to make sure all the cameras are following it and it's not jumping around. An important note for this to work in Steam VR, you need to make sure you're running PS Move FreePi Bridge version 14. This, along with the latest version of the PS Move Steam VR Bridge, will make sure everything is working properly. Hopefully this helped out. If it did, remember, leave it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this in the future. We'll see you next time.